During the Sede Vacante period, cardinals discuss what type of leadership the Catholic Church needs. Kiko Arguello is the co-initiator of the Neo-Catechumenal Way, and he says one of the biggest challenges in society is indifference. Also important is having a true Christian formation and evangelizing in Asia. We directly see the urgent need to evangelize in Asia, to countries like India, China, Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia. We spoke to the Bishop of Mongolia and he said, I have six million non-Christians to help me. I only have 700 Christians and no priests. So we are planning on sending families and doing whatever is needed. Arguello knows Benedict XVI quite well. They met for the first time in Germany in 1974. Back then, Professor Ratzinger expressed interest in the neocatechumenal way and he even recommended this type of Catholic formation for adults to some parishes in Munich. Benedict XVI approved the statuses of the Neocatechumenal Way in 2008, and in 2012, some of its liturgies. And now that the Pope has resigned, Kiko Arguello says he has a clear idea of what the Church needs in its next pontiff. If you really want to know, I would say an apostle and a martyr. Benedict XVI told the Roman clergy that the Second Vatican Council still needs to be fully implemented. So the next Pope should help put the ideas of the Council into practice. Above all, he has to prepare the Church for a profound new evangelization in different levels. But first, we need to have adult Christians practicing the faith. Arguello says Benedict XVI could have reduced the number of trips he took and perhaps changed his schedule to one that's more appropriate for his age. But his decision to resign took great courage, says Arguello, because above all, Benedict XVI was thinking about the best thing for the church.